Hello, Dmitry Balsas here. In this episode, we will understand how to apply Pareto principle and to make your life successful. What is Pareto principle and who is Pareto? Pareto principle definition is very simple. 80% of effect comes from 20% of effort. And it's opposite. 20% of effect comes from 80% of effort. Wilfredo Pareto, Italian economist, noticed that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. After the deep investigation, he and others found approximately the same relation in many other fields. For example, 80% sales come from 20% of clients. 20% of richest people control 80% of the money. If you eliminate 20% of the bugs in your program, it will avoid 80% of the crashes. And the list may be continued. I believe you already got the idea. But here we are to understand how to make our lives better using Pareto principle. Before we proceed, I should note that 80 to 20 is not obligatory ratio. Ratio may be different. 90 to 10, 70 to 30 and so on. But the main idea remains the same. If we convert the rule to simple word, it will mean that in life we should find that 20% that creates 80% of happiness to us. Because the other 80% of our life will create only 20% of our happiness. The question here is, really, we need to spend another 80% of our life to get 20% more happiness? Or should we stick to 20% of our life that already creates 80% of happiness? I understand that you are frustrated with different percentages and complicated definitions. But imagine that you can achieve more by doing less. It sounds simple enough to be true. Before we start applying Pareto principle in daily life, let's identify the fields to apply. My suggestion is to make four groups – habits and productivity, career and wealth, health, relationship. For example, let's take habits and productivity. Just sit down and list all of your habits on the paper. What are the 20% of your habits which creates the most sense in your life? Stick to them and start paying more attention and time. Look at your to-do list. What are the 20% of tasks which creates 80% of value and happiness? Do only them and delegate the rest. Let's talk about wealth. Can you identify 20% of your activities that generates 80% of your income? What do you think will happen if you start to put another 80% of the efforts to these activities? Yes, your income will be boosted. That's an example of achieving more by doing less. You do less tasks, but get more paid. If you are a businessman, start your day tomorrow by using ABC analysis to identify 20% of your most profitable clients, and then proceed to work only with these similar clients. Now, by knowing the Pareto principle and how to use it, let's make some obvious conclusions. About 80% of the things you have bought are almost never used. Definitely you have clothes in the wardrobe you were using just once. As babies we all got new toys. A lot of new toys. But during our childhood we played only with a minor part of it. It is not necessary that after you finish watching the episode you go and throw away 80% of your stuff. But it is important that next time you make a decision to buy or not to buy, you consider the 80-20 rule. The above examples and facts are enough to convince you of the benefits of applying Pareto principle in many areas of everyday life, in work and even in relationship with others. This is a fundamental natural phenomenon independent of fashion trends or economic conditions. It can be used for a long time and it will always be relevant. The Pareto principle is valuable in that it destroys stereotypes that people consider logical. 
Almost all of us are confident in the equivalence of efforts and results of work, but this is actually a delusion. Here are some examples of delusion. All employees of a single category make a comparable contribution to its development. No, it's not true. Only a minor amount of employees makes a real impact on your business. Each customer is equally important. Just remember the awful client who made 80% of complaints last year. All matters must be treated with the same attention. Of course not. You should focus on the most important things only. Everything that a person starts must be finished. If you just see the list of my unfinished and never to be finished things I started before, all difficulties are associated with many reasons. Actually, no, usually in the time period there are several reasons that causes you challenges. Summing up, it can be noted that regardless of whether a person is familiar with the Pareto rule, it has a tremendous impact on his life. Understanding this principle allows you to more consciously see reality, remove obstacles to achieving goals and make the most of available opportunities. Like, share and don't forget to use Pareto Principle.